morning everyone i have woken up with a bit of a sore throat and i actually don't know if it's a true sore throat or if it's just hay fever because hay fever does that to me sometimes where i think i am ill but i'm not it's just my allergies um but yeah i'm just gonna have like an antihistamine and see how i feel but i woke up early and did some revision on my laptop um before work just because i feel like at least that way I've had some productivity in my day before I get to work and especially today where I'm on call I really don't know if I will get any chance like during my shift like if there's any periods of quietness sometimes you get to like do work but with Obzingani it's so unpredictable you know some sometimes people are having loads of babies and it's really crazy and sometimes people aren't having that many babies and it's not that crazy well at least in my hospital it's like this but I hear in other hospitals like the busyness varies although today i'm on triage which is like the maternity version of a and e where um the pregnant ladies will come in with any concerns that they have um if they're feeling unwell or think they're going into labor then they come into our triage but i'm doing that from the afternoon and in the morning i'm in clinic so i like to dress more like formal for clinic and then for triage I will get changed into my scrubs although I could probably still do triage like in nice clothes I think it's just more comfortable and I don't mind like taking the work clothes with me and changing so that's my plan for the day I'll catch up with you once I am dressed makeup done time for my antihistamine to bring me back to life Fingers, fingers crossed? How do you cross your fingers again? <laughs> I also need to take off my bracelet because uh, bare below the elbows policy, if you guys don't know, I need to be bare up until my elbows. And that includes nail polish, but to be honest, personally, I don't really understand the nail polish one because we wear gloves anyway for procedures. So I don't know, but I follow it anyway. <laughs> This is the final look. I have a hair clip that's actually attached to my handbag because your girl cannot, like I need to tie this up after. But just when I walk into work, I like to have my hair down because otherwise I get headaches if I keep it up for too long. Also, this chewing gum is my obsession and watermelon flavor. It's Mel Way. You can get them from Pret, I think. I don't know, my best friend's dad invests in it and he always gives it to me when I go to his house because he knows that I love it. But yeah, I know you can get it from Pret. I don't know where else you can get it from. On another side note, I ordered a bunch of these from Amazon because one of the girls I work with uses these to write and I didn't have a pen, she gave me one and now I'm obsessed. They are... Oh. This is the Matador High School pen. It's a bit like a Muji pen, if anyone went through like a Muji pen phase, it's really good. Okay, I am ready and I'm gonna go to work. I'll switch to my iPhone and I'll see you there. Saturday my hair looks so messy but this is guys my hair I showered last night I didn't even brush it and went to sleep so this is what it looks like when I've woken up um it's usually like really really straight I think right now the front looks a little bit like wavy and that's probably because I did this to wash my face but anyways that is so besides the point I am um, I'm sick I've got a cold um but like it's not been one of those colds that i feel really crappy with the weird thing is like when i go to work it goes away and then when i come home i just feel hot and coughing i don't have a fever um and i've listened to it in my own chest i can't hear anything um so i think i've just got like maybe like a mild like upper respiratory tract infection um but it is affecting my asthma 
However, I booked this Pilates class a week ago. It is with my favorite instructor. I literally love her. her name is Des. She works at my gym and I want to go. So I'm going to go and I'm taking my laptop to do some work after I have I have so much going on. I feel like right now all the cogs are turning at work. I've got my ARCP in a month's time. ARCP guys is an annual check uh, to doctors to make sure that they are still um, fit to practice medicine and mine also incorporates my portfolio where it looks to see if I'm fit to progress to the next year of um, obs and gynae training so they will look at all my competencies to see if I have those signed off um, feedback from my colleagues um, my own reflection the cases that I've seen like you have we have a whole portfolio I would explain it to you but god it literally took me six months to understand how the portfolio works myself <laughs> so yeah I probably wouldn't be the best person to explain for anyone who's come here looking for that which I really doubt you have but anyway I need to fix my portfolio I'm writing up a case report with one of my consultants and I've done a first draft and he wants me to send it to him and I feel like I don't feel like it looks good enough for a first like it's my really rough draft and he knows that but I want to like go over it one more time before I send him my rough rough draft because he wants to obviously add things to it oh I've got an exam I've got revised for the exam I don't know I have so much random stuff like yesterday I literally submitted a project that I did for a poster because I someone had told me about submitting it for this expo and I completely forgot and then I got home oh before I got home I saw some people working on a, a project and I was like what are you doing they're like yeah we're supposed to for this expo and I was like oh my god I need to set mine where's the deadline they're like tomorrow and I was like so yeah I'm just constantly flapping maybe that's why I'm ill I don't know but I'm loving it I love my work as you can tell I'm not sat here moaning I'm almost sat here weirdly excited um so yeah more passion more energy more passion more energy um let me put a hairband on maybe that will fix whatever is going on with my hair also this is such a side note but loads of you guys have asked me if my aesthetics clinic and business still exists now that I'm in training. And yes, it does. However, I don't work there anymore. Solar Designer work there all the time. Um, they're there right now as we speak. Um, so if you guys are looking for aesthetic treatment, especially in London in Harley Street, Dr. S Aesthetics, um, check out our Instagram page and um, you can see all the treatments that are there to offer um someone else also asked me if i've ever had my lips done i think that was a comment under the if you see that under a tiktok on my last video but no i haven't however i have thought about it but seeing as i'm not done with my teeth journey yet so i've had invisalign and if you guys can't tell genuinely just go back to like a video from three years ago and you'll see what a nice difference it's made my sister soul is my dentist but dr soul sam on instagram if you guys again want to see she did a perfect job but i want to whiten them more now and then get some edge bonding so but i keep putting it off because honestly just schedule i feel like when you have a business yourself or access to something yourself you're much worse at organizing it than if you were to book an external appointment with someone so that's been my honest like sheer reason why I haven't done that yet like the only thing holding me back but essentially I think they look really nice and straight and yeah I just want them whitened and just a bit of edge bonding <laughs> shopping I don't know why I'm wearing a cap I think it's mainly because my hair because it's clean but it's just a bit messy but anyway let me show you my outfit actually my CBA shopping outfit <laughs> 
it is haul time. I've just got back from Bank Cross, guys. I was not meant to spend money. Um, I was just going to pick up one or two bits and bobs. And, oh, I feel like if I do a weekly vlog, we can keep track of how much I'm spending. And it should not be this much. But anyway, I'm working on it, okay? Next week, fingers crossed, I'll be in more of a saving zone. <laughs> but for now, YOLO, let's start with boots, okay? First things first. Sol has this bronzer brush and I'm obsessed. I used to think it was the bronzer that I'm obsessed with, but I realized it's actually the brush. It is the powder brush in number 14. Sol, I really hope this is your brush because I spent 40 pounds on it. Apparently it's usually, actually I think I spent less because I got 10% off with my boots card and 10% off just, just this, bleh, this weekend. Um, so yeah, perfect. I got some money off. This is number 14 on the dual brush and I feel like it makes your bronzer look so good. I needed a restock of my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I feel like this time I went through it a lot quicker. Um, I don't know why, maybe because the weather's colder, so I'm using more, whereas usually like in summer, I like go for a bit more of a lighter coverage. I don't know. Next up, eyebrow pencil NYX in chocolate. This one is my favorite, along with the Refi eyebrow pomade in medium brown, I think it is, the, the middle shade. That I also love for my eyebrows, which I got threaded yesterday. So they're looking pretty good right now. Um, then I got the Benefits Their Real Mascara. That's my favorite mascara. And Boots had this like offer in Benefit where you pay £27 for this and you get a free mini one in there. And like I said, they had like double 10% off. So it worked out well for me. Then I got this NYX lipstick. It's the Rome color soft matte lip cream. I love their lip creams. I feel like their colors are really nice, really long lasting, so happy with that. Then CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I tried the, um, the foamy one, but it never foamed for me. So I'm just gonna stick to this one. I feel like it washed off my makeup in the first rinse, whereas the one that was meant to be foam, I needed to use like two or three rinses um with the with the product so this one was better for me and yeah my skin's been quite clear with it i've only got like one little pimple here and getting considering it was like because i was on my period i'm happy with that i can deal with that next space in k okay let's open this up i can't even remember what i got from space in k oh yeah i got a hourglass uh concealer in shade fawn which i'm so happy about my sister's boyfriend actually got me this um so he gave me money so i just like before i went into the shop spent it on this um so nice of him i feel like i'm going to be forever headache and the younger sister for my siblings and partners which i can't complain about okay next up zara Item number one, this track suit, okay? It's a pink flare bottom tracky. So pretty and nice, but I like the fact that it's a set, so it comes with this cropped hoodie, and I like that it's cropped because I feel like I'm the kind of gal who likes high-waisted stuff, and I like a little bit of tummy showing because I'm petite, so I'm five foot two. Anything cropped and high-waisted always makes me look a little bit taller. We'll take any few centimeters where they come and go. So yeah, this top was um, 22 99 which I think is quite a reasonable price. And it feels really nice and soft, by the way. So good quality. And then the bottoms, they didn't really have my size, so I had to buy in a medium for, again, 22 99 So decent pricing. I will let you know if it starts going bubbly after a while, but hopefully it doesn't. Then I got this skirt. It's a maxi skirt with like a middle split, kind of middle, off center middle split, um, in denim with some silver buttons, I believe. Yes, that's silver. I got this in a size extra small. That was definitely an accident on my behalf. I think I'm more of a small than an extra small. Um, I'm around a UK size eight, I would say. Um, this was 29.99. But I just plan on styling this with the other items you're about to see. So I got this top. It's like a bandeau top. I'm going to wear this tonight, hopefully, if it looks good. Um, this in a size small, and it was $17.99. Um, either like with the skirt I just showed you, or a mini skirt and pink boots, or jeans, and then like some um, like low-heeled 
sandal-y kind of heels. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But the material is nice and thick. Kind of very similar to that. I also bought this, but in a hot pink shade. This was $17.99 in a size small. Um, but this is more cropped, so I just thought this with like tracksuit bottoms. You know, the other one was giving, it's giving more classy, you know, it's more fine and knit. And then this one is more thick, so this one's more casual. Or even this with like jeans and trainers. Um, but yeah, more casual look. Then these jeans were on sale, so I was like, why not? Um, they were $19.99, I got them in a size 36, which is a UK 8. And they are the high rise wide leg jeans, so let me stand up to show you. So they are like this, I don't know. They look a little bit long, as with most Zara jeans on me. Um, so I'll see if they don't look good, I'll just return them. And then the last item from Zara is this top, which I actually have in black and I wore in Los Angeles, if you guys saw that vlog. Um, but I believe I had it in a size small. Um, I don't know why I bought an extra small. I think that's quite audacious of me. Um, this is $45.99 and it is so pretty and elegant. I feel like this with a silky maxi skirt or I have some white um, trousers that are really nice. I bought some white trousers last week from Zara that are like um, kind of like suit trousers, like plain white, very nice, elegant, high-waisted. So I feel like this with that together is bueno and this week is my best friend talia's birthday so i needed like an outfit for that as well so i'm going out tonight um for dinner i'm going out tomorrow night for a dinner as well and then so tonight's saturday tomorrow night sunday and then next week is talia's birthday on wednesday and because i'm on nights on the weekend I finish work Wednesday at five and then I'm off on Thursday. So I've said, let's go out on Wednesday night, which is her actual birthday. And they are, the girls are all going away um, on the weekend for my friend Mariam's Hindu, which I can't go to because I'm on nights. Um, but yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they'll be away. I'll be on nights. So um, yeah, we're gonna celebrate her birthday on the Wednesday. Um, if you guys have any cool gift ideas as well, let me know for Talia. She is my resident cool girl best friend. And I would say we're very similar vibe. We like a lot of like the same stuff. And I kind of have an idea of what I want to get for her, but I feel like the thing that I want might take a bit longer than her birthday. Not that she would mind waiting. Anyway, if you guys think, like, what would you buy me for a birthday present? Give me an idea and then maybe I can use it for her. Okay, stop babbling. The last bag, which genuinely, I shouldn't have bought this, but I should have because I'm so happy and I don't regret it at all. Okay, first bit was just the Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> pillow talk um blusher wand in matte and i absolutely love 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 this the girls got me this for my birthday last year as part of my presents and i always use it i love it so much it ran out and then sol um bought one and then she wasn't using it so i was using hers and then that's run out or she's taken it back i can't remember so i needed one so i got that but yeah main thing guys my perfume um is the Kristen Dior one and I've been wearing it for maybe five years. I love it so, so, so much. It's like one of those that just, it's me when I smell it. But sadly, for the past year or two, I really just can't smell it on my skin anymore and it makes me really upset, like maybe for the past year, definitely. And in the beginning when I first got it, whenever I'd walk into a room, everyone would be like, you smell so amazing, what are you wearing? And they'd always ask me. And now, no, I feel like no one can smell it on me either. Like I feel like my skin has just adapted to that perfume. Not helped by the fact that my sisters went behind my back and each bought that perfume as well. When they know I hate smelling like someone else, like, especially when it's like that, not that I hate smelling like someone else, like, I'm telling you guys what perfume I've just bought, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't mind other people smelling like me, but if it's like my best friend or my sister, someone who I'm always around, I'm not gonna be able to, we're not gonna be able to distinguish that smell, and I feel like a scent is like very much like a personal thing, so like, I feel like if we hang out with the same people, my smell should remind you of, like someone else walking with my perfume should be like, oh, that reminds me of Seppi, not that reminds me of Seppi, Sol and Sina. So yeah, they, they went out and copied my perfume. So uh, hopefully they don't watch this vlog because I'm not gonna tell them what this one is, so they don't copy me. But it is the most I've spent on a perfume before. 
I think, because I don't know, the Dior one's like 280. This one's 320 pounds, guys. There's literally like, I'm ashamed of myself that I'm meant to be saving and this is what I've done. But it is what it is because it's so worth it. It smells incredible. And guys, shout out to Jackie, who works in Fennec, Brent Cross, the perfume section. Any of you guys who want to buy a perfume, any perfume, go to Jackie. The reason why I say this is because most people who sell you perfume do not want to be bothered. Like, as in, they think that you're wasting their time, that you just want to sniff up the samples. They'll show you one or two things in the line of what you're looking for and then they'll give up. Jackie took me on a whole journey, guys. By the end of it, I wanted to buy four perfumes, but then I couldn't justify spending £1,200 on perfume so I only chose one and I don't regret it. it just smells incredible I still have it now on my skin but it is this one it is the Amouage interlude perfume guys the only way I can describe it is an Arabic midsummer night's dream I feel like that's the best way to put it it smells like oud, it smells florally, it's got rose in it, which is my favourite smell. And um, when I first started getting like nicer perfumes, I think I was, I was 18, 19 in my gap year, and I got the Jo Malone Rose Oud. Um, but that literally reminds me of my first year of uni and like everything I went through in life in my gap year, my first year of uni. So. I don't really spray that anymore. It's like a nostalgic smell to me. And before that, I was more like wearing like the clubby perfume, which I really like, or the misty or the juicy kind of vibes. Um, but yeah, since then I've been more into like very like oody, always loving like floral, always loving rose. So this to me smells incredible. Guys, each of their perfumes smelt so good. And Jackie was so kind, she gave me some samples of some other ones that I was thinking of. So one of them was Night by Acro. Acro, apparently they only smell, uh, sell at Harrods or at Fennec Mall. Well, um, and then a couple more of the different Amouage ones that I was thinking of. Um, and she gave me a Montclair one as well, which was a bit florally, which she thought I would like. So honestly, if you guys want a perfume, go to her because she was just so helpful and she really didn't mind if I didn't buy anything like she was like writing things down for, like telling me to write down things and like come back and like have a think and giving me so many like I've literally got all the testers here of like all the different ones she gave me I've still got more in that bag but she was so helpful and it just completely changes your experience as a customer when you go somewhere and you spend a lot of money but forget the money you spent like when they spend the time with you and they actually seem passionate about what they're doing so that concludes my haul. I'm gonna try saving again next time, okay? Next time. Fingers crossed. Pay for me. And for any of you guys wondering why I'm trying to save, it's because I'm 28 and I feel like it's time to be a responsible adult who saves. It's time. It's one of those little goals I have going for myself. That being said, today I also booked myself onto a horse riding lesson, which is why you guys saw so many horsies. Um, and yeah. I did my Pilates class, then took the dog for a walk, which you guys saw, and booked myself onto a horse riding lesson. I haven't been to one in 12 years, and no, 16 years. And I have been inspired by my friend now, and she's saying how much she loves them, and it just reminded me of how much I liked them when I was younger. So I was like, screw it, we're going back. I have one literally one minute from my house, so I'm going horse riding. So yeah. That will probably be in next week's vlog. But let's continue. I will pick up the camera again when I am getting ready for dinner. <laughs> Guys, look at Saul's. I feel like every time I'm vlogging, <laughs> me doing my makeup, Saul comes in. Wow! Guys, how pretty is this? That's so pretty. Show the bottoms, like lift your leg up so they can see. Wow! I'm, gonna, wow, wow. I'm so gonna borrow this. It's from Bevan T. Guy, touch it. Just touch it. Wow. 
I'm tired, guys. I am tired. Like, so I went to the clinic. I was telling everyone time. this morning that you went to the clinic and you were busy. I it's, love my patients. It's 8 p.m. So you can imagine. I'm shattered. Like I don't know why I bought my swimming costume. I'm ambitious. I'm not gonna. I went to the him. sauna today, and oh, it was so nice. Honestly, just to relax. <laughs> I just wanna let it go for the 